Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to update your server from Minecraft 1.17 to 1.17.1. Now the process is going to be the same for other you know versions of Minecraft, for example from 1.16.5 to 1.17, but as a general rule of thumb, don't jump too many versions. For example, you would have all kinds of issues if you try to jump from 1.12.2, for example, to 1.17.1. That's not going to work, don't do it. To update from 1.12, update to every individual version between 1.12.2 and 1.17.1, basically getting the updates over time, and then you should be okay, but you still may have some issues. And we're going to show you how to back your server up quickly in this video, just in case you do have any issues. First of all, most of we do have our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft. So you go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love it just Apex so much that we host our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, Check out Apex the first link down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get your server updated. Now, it is easy to update a server at Apex, literally just a few clicks. It's also relatively easy to do it if you have a hosted server locally on your own computer, like what we have here. But overall, one thing I do want to mention is that this is more for vanilla servers, meaning there's no plugins or mods. Now, I'm going to mention plugins and mods here, but know that the bulk of this video is for vanilla servers. The process of updating on a paper server or a forge server is the same, right? You just take and swap the jar file out. That's what we're about to do here. It's pretty simple. But your mods will break and your plugins will break. So you also, when you update your server, need to make sure you're updating your plugins to the 1.17.1 version and your mods, if you have any, to your 1.17.1 version. So if you're on a modded server and you're updating Forge, make sure all the mods you're using are also updated or it won't work. And the same thing goes for paper. Make sure all of your plugins are updated before you update to 1.17 as well, right? So that's something you want to keep in mind. On paper, if a plugin isn't updated and like it gets uninstalled, that usually doesn't break things, usually, as much as a modded server will. If you just update a modded server by dragging and dropping the new jar file in, like what we're about to do, it will break it. You need to make sure you keep those mods up to date as well. Nevertheless, let's go ahead though and update our vanilla server. So first off, I want to show you this is a 1.17 server. As you can see, Minecraft 1.17 right there. If we click on multiplayer and direct connect, I'm just going to direct connect to our local host and we're going to join on in here and uh, make it basically recognizable. That's kind of what I want to do. Make it to where, whoa, that was weird. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my really fast. I might be already opt. And then we're going to go ahead and do a game mode creative. And then I always like to just put down some diamonds because there's no way that uh, diamond blocks spawn naturally, right? So we're going to go ahead, put down some diamonds just right like this all around us. And I think that should be pretty sufficient. Cool. So now what we want to do is go ahead and show you that while we can join this on 1.17, we can't on 1.17.1. So quick jump cut. Literally, I'm just going to open up 1.17.1. All right, so now we're in 1.17.1, as you can see in the bottom left of Minecraft there. And if we go ahead and click on multiplayer, direct connect, and then try to connect to the local host server over here, it's not going to work. It says, please use 1.17. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to minimize Minecraft here, and we're going to take our server, stop it properly. So typing stop down here at the bottom and hitting enter. It's going to stop the server. And then we have the server here. This is the vanilla 1.17 server. So to get the version that we want, we need to go download it. To do that, we have a link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is mcversions.net. Now, the reason I link this instead of like the Mojang version is if you're watching this version or this video in the future, and for whatever reason you want to update your server to 1.17.1 specifically, you won't be able to download that from Mojang easily. But what you can do is download this from mcversions.net, and this has all the versions of Minecraft from version 1.0 to even all the beta and alpha versions of Minecraft servers. So it's all here. For this video, though, we're going to be downloading 1.17.1, so go ahead and click the download there, and after a few seconds, it will go ahead and download automatically in the bottom left. So we just sit here. Oh, wait, no, it won't. Sorry. Well, it'll take you off to this download page, which is the actual 1.17.1 download page, where you then want to click on download server jar. Then it will download in the bottom left. Now, we will need to keep this file on Google Chrome. It'll pop up in the center of your screen, almost the Firefox, and you'll need to save it there. I promise it's 100% safe. Now, we go ahead and minimize our browser. Before we do anything with the file we just downloaded, we need to make sure we back up our server. To do that, go ahead and click on it, right click, copy, and then right click next to it and click paste, right? And now that's going to create a copy. As you can see, a vanilla 1.17 server copy. If you have issues when you update your server, just go ahead and start using this one, your copy, right? Just rename it or whatever, and then use it. 
it's going to be on the older version, all that stuff. It's good to go. So just drag that to the side. Now, I do also want to mention that if you want to keep your server up, like backed up once per day and have more consistent backups, we do recommend Backblaze. So this is what, what I actually use. And there is an affiliate link in the description down below where we get a small cut if you do use this. But I use this product. It's actually, you can see it right here. Up here in the top right, there is Backblaze. And uh, it's very, very, very good for keeping not only your server backed up, but your entire PC backed up. And it does it once per day. So you won't lose too much data when you use Backblaze. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and take this server.jar. By the way, this is on my desktop. I'll be in your downloads folder. So click the little Windows icon on the top of my screen, bottom of your screen, and then type in downloads. You have your downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here you'll find your server.jar. I'm going to drag that to my desktop. Now, for vanilla right here, all we want to do is open up the server, and then we have this server.jar inside of our folder. We want to delete the one that's in our folder. So go ahead, right-click delete, or drag it to your recycling bin like I just did, and boom, it is now deleted. Then we want to take the server.jar file that we downloaded and drag and drop that into our server. Now, just for, you know, basically ease of use and understanding, we're going to go ahead and rename this to 1.17.1 server because it is now 1.17.1. Double click on the server.jar and I'm going to go ahead and let this start up. I will meet you once this server has started up and we'll join it in Minecraft. So there we go. This server is now started up. We can open Minecraft back up and join it. So let's go ahead and go into multiplayer. Again, we are in 1.17.1. As you can see down here in the bottom left, click on multiplayer, click to reconnect to the local host and you'll see right there we are joining in on 1.17.1. Dot one. Now, unfortunately, it's the same world. As you can see, all the diamond blocks are there. Now, unfortunately, there's no real other way for me to show you that this is 1.17.1. For example, unfortunately, they don't have slash version or anything like that in vanilla. But I promise it is updated. There's really no denying it because we just joined off a of 1.17.1 client on a vanilla server. What is that? Oh, that was a fox. Um... So yeah, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And that's how you can update your Minecraft server. It's pretty easy, pretty simple, and overall, one of the things that people feel like it's very complicated and Minecraft makes it a little more complicated than they should, but is overall simple once you actually do it. Now again, on modded servers, on forward servers, on bucket servers or paper servers, you need to make sure that your plugins or mods are also updated before updating your server. Now, it's a little less as big of a deal, right? It's not as big of a deal when you're looking at plugins, but when you are looking at Forge mods, you must make sure those mods are updated before you uh, update your server, because if you don't, it will break it. I promise, 100% of the time, it's going to break your server. You won't be able to play on your server again. It's gonna corrupt your world. It's bad. So make sure on Forge or modded servers that you make sure that those mods are updated. And again, on plugin servers as well, it's a good idea to make sure the plugins are updated, but usually if one or two plugins isn't updated for whatever reason and you have to uninstall them, it's not going to break your entire server. So anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.